Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another episode. I believe this is episode 71 of these weekly videos. Um, it seems like it was just yesterday when I started them, so it's crazy that we're already at episode 71. Uh, I'm just going to keep doing these because this is the most fun video that I've ever made, is just these weekly videos showing you guys what I pick up every week and... Just kind of showing whatever I want to show. So it's pretty awesome. I'm really glad that um, I get the support I do on this channel to be able to do that. It's pretty awesome. All right. So, again, this week I'm going to share with you some stuff. This one might go fairly quick. Um, I did not really pick up a ton of stuff this week. Um, as you see, a pile of Auto World right here. Um, so, I guess let's just get right into it. Uh, first off, we'll deal with this. This is... The Toys R Us exclusive, more of these, um, Shoresh picked me up basically an entire case of these. So, I've got extras, well a little bit of extra, I at least got one extra full set for sure, one extra set of the Caddy and uh, the Pontiac, I think I have another extra Pontiac, so I have, I think I have five total of these and I only have three of these I definitely want to keep two because I want to open one and uh, keep one carded so we are gonna open one of these Cadillacs in the second half of the video and uh, we'll take a close look at this and I'll just kind of show you the whole Toys R Us exclusive set loose we'll just re recap that and then uh, that will be that so again these are limited to 858 pieces um, stores that were lucky enough to get these either got set A or set B and both of the sets were limited to 858 um, which makes the ultra red in each ultra reds of each of them limited to 25 a piece on each individual card which is really though they're limited to 50 of the actual casting in an ultra red so 50 of the Pontiac ultra reds which I have one of these uh, in an ultra red and then uh, 50 of those, which I don't have one of those yet, but I do have one coming, um, so I'm excited for that. Not here yet, but I will show that, of course, when I get it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to crack one of these in the second half, and just kind of look at those Auto World loose. That'll be kind of cool, and uh, so we'll do that. And then sticking with Auto World here, I set these aside. Um, I came across a seller on eBay that was selling Ultra Reds for really good price, like shift prices. And he was selling quite a few of them, but there was only one. Well, there was two, I think, that I needed. I only really could afford one because I had about 20 or so odd dollars, 26 bucks in my PayPal, just burning a hole. So this came up for 20 bucks shipped, and I had to pick it up. Um, this is a Firebird. And shout out to Braindead636 because I know that he has one of these aside for me. And I'm sorry, buddy, I just could not pass this up for 20 bucks shipped. I had to get it. I've been watching it on eBay for a while or looking out for one of these because I don't have this version of the Ultra Red from Release 1. I've got Release 2. I've got, you know, the other ones that came out of this casting, but I do not did not have this one, so I needed it. Um, I also need, actually, that white regular car, which is coming to me from Travis at Heavy Metal 164. So between him and Radar, I still only have, you know, four regular castings I'm still looking out for. So those Roadrunner, that red Roadrunner, if anybody's got that or has a lead on one, please let me know. I need that. Um, Travis has one but won't give it up, and I don't blame him. Uh, but anyway, I need that. Anyway, it was great to add this to the collection um, right away. Uh, Brain Dead. so if you want to crack that one that you had, I know you said you were thinking about cracking it, but you thought of fit my collection beautifully and you know it would have but I did find this and uh so crack away buddy um or send it to me because I wouldn't mind having duplicates that's fine if you don't want it hook me up um so there's that and I think that's that's gonna be it for auto world um oh I did get my what was this this was a k-day mailing right is this k-day I don't remember. It was either K-Day or Toys R Us. Who cares? Anyway, this was a, a mail-in of the Long Gone, so got that. That's pretty cool. Um, not going to open this one. I'll probably just hang it up in the Protecto, leave it as is. So there is that guy. Um, and then Shoresh. Oh, yeah, so Shoresh hooked me up with those Auto World. He just charged me retail for him because he's a stand-up individual. And then... Um, 
he also just like basically already okayed me this. So that's pretty cool. I don't have a uh, version of the Daytona um, in an M2. I don't have any of these. Um, cool to get one in the driver series because honestly, I like the driver series almost better than the the boxed M2s. There's just less that can go wrong with them. So we'll crack this in the second half of the video and take a closer look at it. I think this is from the most recent um, driver series, which is release 45. So there is that. Um, then sticking with Shiresh, uh, we also got that Fat Lace. This is a uh, Hot Wheels Illust. Uh, fat laced, uh, fat laced panel bus, and uh, we will open this up. Actually, let's just take this off right now. Um, it is stickered, so I will have to cut it. So I will do that. You get to see what's inside here if you don't already know what it is, which you've probably seen them on Instagram. But it's a VW panel bus, um, fat laced exclusive. It was sold on their website and at some launch party for something. I have no idea. But anyway, these weren't too cheap. These were 27 bucks. I think shipped each is what it came to when he ordered three of them. One for Todd, one for himself, and one for me. So, pretty cool that we got to go in on an order for one of these. And, uh, yeah, collect everything. So, we'll open this up and take a look at that in the second half. Um, then, what should we talk about? Oh, I did find a chase this week, by the way, and no, I'm not going to continually look for these things, but I saw it, and it's a Dorbs. I've never bought a Dorbs before, and who knows if I ever will again, but I saw that it was a chase, and I'm like, well, I'll pick it up. Maybe somebody will want it. Um, otherwise, there is a store like a little toy store called replay toys in my area that i think they give you store credit and stuff and they have some die cast in there so maybe i could just bring this in and do a little trade in there whatever i'm not sure what it's worth or anything probably not much but it's a dorbs chase yay so hopefully it's the last time i'll ever show one of these in this channel not that there's anything wrong with collecting dolls you know whatever if that's your thing that's your thing Okay, all right, so, um, yeah. Oh, Todd came over the other night and just hooked me up with this out of the blue. That's sweet. Um, this is a really cool Firebird casting from Johnny Lightning. Um, this one's got a plastic base, but no matter. And it's got plastic tires, but these are some of the best-looking plastic uh, tires you'll ever see. Um, we'll go ahead and take a closer look at this in the second half of the video. And then sticking with Johnny Lightning for a moment, uh, Case of Street Freaks hit my Walmart last night. I picked up three of them. And I got this guy, the School of Heavy Metal. Had to pick up that. Always been a fan of heavy music. And, uh, well, I like all sorts of types of music, but back in my younger days, definitely heavy stuff was my number one. And so I thought this was awesome, this Demolition Derby bus. Um, I think we are going to, we'll crack all three of these in the second half. And then we got this Johnny Lightning Project in Progress. Had to pick these up because the Project in Progress series is just so cool. So I had to pick that up. And then this just looks awesome. This Blacked Out series. Uh, this Chevy Nova SS. They have a Corvette in the Blacked Out series. But I didn't think that casting looks really good. So I didn't pick it up. But this casting looks awesome. So this is basically Johnny Lightning's version of uh, Greenlight's Black Bandit, which actually, I think Johnny Lightning back in the day had Black Bandit cars, so I don't know how that that works. I'm not really up on diecast licensing history and whatever, uh, why they had Black Bandits and then Greenlight came out with Black Bandits, and if they're from the same, I have no clue. Um, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and I'll compare it to a Black Bandit car and just show you the similarities. Um, uh, what they're going for here, but these are limited to this release is limited to 2500 so It's uh, about double I believe of what the last Street Freaks release releases were I think those are about 1200 something so So there's that so obviously, you know round two is doing a good job. They're selling more so they're gonna definitely gonna be increasing the quantities of the releases so Maybe hang on to those first ones that were only like 1200 or something. That may not be a bad idea to hang on to those and maybe leave some of those in the card, which I, I do have some 
on card. Um, and then we're going to crack some random Johnny Lightnings from my Johnny Lightning uh, ready-to-be-randomly cracked pile. Um, we're going to do two from Classic Gold. This is a recent release, uh, 2016 Classic Gold release two. We got that uh, <clears throat> that uh, Chevy Monza Spider and the Chevy Vega Wagon. I never found... Uh, this this release was actually tough to find in my area because there was only one place that had it and it was uh, a Target that was north of me. It was a super Target, not too close to me, not something I could hunt often, and they barely got any of them in. So, and Hobby Lobby I think got a couple of these, but this was a hard release to find. Um, never found the I think it was a black or blue one of this which I wanted, and I think there's a blue yeah there's definitely a blue one of uh, this guy, uh, which would be cool to have. But we'll go ahead and open up these two. And then I've got three um, Volkswagen Beetles. And I think they're all the 66 Beetle casting. And there are those. So three different Johnny Lightning Beetles. Two of them are red. But uh, we're going to crack all three of those in the second half. All right, so let's get cracking. Okay, so let's start with the stuff I'm going to need a screwdriver for. Um, starting with this Fat Lace, um, pretty cool thing, Racing Circuit Factory Garage, Hot Wheels. So it is a Hot Wheels licensed product. I don't really know exactly what the relationship is with Illust and whatever. I'm not that hip to, uh, I don't know, what do they sell, clothes I'm assuming. Um, don't really know, but what I do know is it's a Volkswagen panel bus. And that's why I wanted it. So you get this little cool little surfboard thing. It's kind of neat, little fat lace uh, wooden surfboard, double sided like 3M tapes. So you can stick it to something. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I uh, got that. And then you get this VW panel bus. So it is basically the standard panel bus that you'd find in like a pop culture series. Um, but looks pretty cool, and you get this uh, cool case. We're gonna open it up, hopefully, without screwing up anything. Okay, this is actually tough. Well, I'm not even gonna take it completely out. What we'll do is unscrew it from the bottom. And sorry to make you watch me use a screwdriver, but. We're legitimately cracking open this, and I'm using a flathead on Phillips screws, which is always smart. Am I going to have to pause this video? All right, that was a pain, and um, I got it out of the case, finally. Okay, so the two screws, by the way, are ridiculously long, and... I don't know how deep they go into that casting, but criminy. All right, so anyway, I don't know. Oh, I wonder how they got. So this is just a screw hole in the metal base. Like they just drilled a hole. There's no rivet here. And then this one does go straight into the rivet. So just in case you wanted to know what they did to this casting to get it to screw to a base like that, it's still riveted. And then there was a screw hole right in the rivet. And then they just drilled a hole and it's just threaded into there. No idea why they had to be this long. That's crazy. All right, so anyway, got it out finally. It is really well detailed. Um, really does look nice. There is some lettering, really small lettering that say Fat Lace on the uh, the tires down there that we're not going to be able to get close enough to look at. Oh, actually, all the all four tires have it. Um, license plate detail back there. Very detailed, detailed out bus. Glad to add it to the collection. So that is pretty awesome. So there is that. All right, so the next thing that we're going to need to unscrew from a base, and hopefully it'll be a lot easier, is this M2 69 Dodge Charger Daytona Hemi from release 45. Crack it off the cardboard here and pull it out. All right, so there it is. Let's unscrew it. This will go a lot easier. All right, so there, base is out of the way. Let's get the packaging out of the way. And take a look at this car. 
So like I said, I don't own any of these M2 Daytonas. I like the uh, Dodge Daytona and Plymouth Superbirds and stuff. Um, I think they're cool. Oh yeah, this isn't going to have an opening hood. It looks like it does, and I think the, the premium version of it does, but this one I don't think does at all. No opening features, which is fine. And uh, yeah, this does look pretty nice. It definitely looks a little big, maybe. Bigger than 164, which I believe M2 is. But um, really nice. Thanks, Shuresh, for just uh, giving that to me. That's That was pretty awesome of you. Uh, really cool. All right, so next up, let's take a look at some Auto World. We'll do Auto World, and then we'll do the Johnny Lightning stuff. So let's start with this. Toys R Us exclusive. So this was the Caddy from set B that we cracked last week. We also cracked the uh, Pontiac Grand Prix from set B last week. So there's there's those two. And uh, then we got the black. So this is the, the Pontiac Grand Prix in black. That's the alternate for the Toys R Us exclusive. Little set of two cars. Well, set of four cars really counting the different colors. And then we got this guy right here. So let's go ahead and open it up. And there you go. Now the goofy thing with this Cadillac is... Yeah, there's 858 of the Toys R Us exclusive ones, and you got it released in two colors, but then it was also released in two colors now in 2017, release three that are limited to 2,500. So really, a lot of this casting being put out, like, right at the same time, four different colors of it, basically. So if you really like this casting, or if you're a nut like me and want to get every single Auto, Rele Auto World release that ever came out, that's four of the same thing to buy, basically, right off the bat. So I kind of wish that they didn't do that. Yeah, their catalog is small, so it's limited, right? But I really hope to see some new tools in 2018, that they'll put out some new stuff. Um, I like that they're getting creative with some of their cars, like the Christine. If you've seen the Mijo exclusive, definitely going to be after that. It's a weathered version of the car. And um, they also did something cool with the Chevy Kingswood, that the lead sled, which you've probably seen on Lamley. And um, I definitely have those coming, so that, those will be fun when I get them. Uh, but here you go. There's your two Toys R Us exclusive Cadillacs. So I got loose ones of each one now, carded ones of each one, and extras. So that's pretty awesome because I at first I didn't think I was it was going to be a hard time to really get those. But thanks to my friends in the diecast local community here, I was able to get plenty. So that is awesome. Thank you very much, uh, Shresh and Todd and Jeremy uh, Bolter uh, for that. So that is really cool. So let's go ahead and then just take a quick look. Now, I apologize in advance. I don't have all these loose, so I'm going to be showing you all of them carded. Um, but sticking with Auto World for a second, this is that Ultra Red that I just got. And I now have every Ultra Red version of this. Not every version of the card it's on, but every version of the casting. So here is this one, 1969 Firebird, Fire, the Pontiac Firebird Trans Am in release one. The Ultra Red's got white stripes going across the roof of the vehicle, or the total top of the vehicle, and it looks great. Pretty awesome. It also still has the Trans Am in blue, actually, on that tail. And eventually this will get cracked, but not today. And uh, then we got Release 2. This one, the white feature is just on the hood, like that. Also, you notice this is the 69 Pontiac Firebird, but not the Firebird Trans Am version. And really, what's the difference? They just it sands the spoiler, so there's no spoiler on the back. Oh, it also's got white in there. Um, this one does too, but this car was normally white. So there's release one and release two, and that after that, we saw it come out in release uh, 2017 release one. So here is the first version of that. Notice no white features except for the white tail there. Um, this one is the Trans Am model and does have the spoiler. And I think it's the same, yeah, same spoiler, same look, everything as the other. And you got white lined tires instead of lettered tires like you have on this one and this one. So it looks pretty nice looks pretty cool and then you got the version C slash D of that release which is this one here 
And this one, the difference is you get red-lined tires, which looks great as an ultra red. And other than that, still got the white rear end and all that. And the base of this one is actually ultra red as well, which you're probably not going to be able to see on camera. But yeah, they got to vary them, you know, somewhat because they're the same castings and the ultra reds can't look the same. Also, I believe all the license plates are different. So there's that too. But we don't need to get into that. But anyway, so I just wanted to show you that I have all of them. There's, there's four in total. And I've got all four now. That's great. I've got um, this one I've got loose as well as carded. This one I've got loose as well as carded. And I technically would need one of this one and one of this one to have, you know, a loose and a carded set of that. So there is those. All right. So that is going to be it for Auto World. Let's go ahead and take a look at some Johnny Lightning, starting with the new stuff. Here's the Street Freaks, limited to 2500 We're going to go ahead and open these. And take a quick look at this Project in Progress. Now these cars, these Project in Progress cars are cool because they're normally chock full of detail. As you can see, this one's got a white line tire on one side, no white line on the other side. Got primer door, primer trunk, different color hood, different color quarter panel. Um, again, white line tire on the back, so both the backs have white lines, and just pretty cool, white top, white interior, not a white lightning, I'm not sure what the white lightning of this looks like, but I know this is not it, and um, pretty cool, we got an opening hood, and it's just a straight um, black motor, not, not a lot of detail in there, but the uh, front end looks good, you got your little Chevy uh, Bow tie right there. Pretty cool version of this Impala casting. I definitely dig it. So this casting is also released, of course, in a convertible uh, with the top down. And then, of course, this soft top. And then I think it's also released in a hard top. So, And Johnny Lightning does a lot of cool stuff like that with their castings, and I really like it. So just to compare it real quick, here's a project in progress from previous years. This one's got a lot of detail, too. It's got dirt and stuff on the tires, dust and all, all that stuff all over it. Looks great. It's like scratched up and stuff. A little bit more detailed than this newest release. Yeah, motor's detailed quite a bit too. So, But still really cool. So I'm glad that they're, they're doing this in the Street Freaks release. It's kind of a mix of different uh, series that came out for Johnny Lightning. And that is pretty awesome. So sticking with that, we're going to go ahead and open this, which just looks killer. This is the uh, 68 Chevy Nova SS in the Johnny Lightning version, basically of Black Bandit series, the Blacked Out series. And open that up. Get your little collector card. And here this is. And man, that looks mean. And really cool. Gloss black. Now set. This is set A. There is a set B of this car, and the only difference is that it's in like a matte finish black. And if I see it, I think that the uh, actual the rims are a little bit different too. If I do see that one, I will pick it up. Um, the Corvette, I will not pick up. The Corvette was matte in this series and will be gloss in the other series, but I just don't like the way that casting looks. And that is the thing with Johnny Lightning as well. Some of their castings, they're really hit or miss on their castings. This casting for me is definitely a hit i think they've got more hits than misses but uh, they definitely have some misses in there with castings and that corvette i think is one of them i didn't like the way it looked uh some detail in the motor so all blacked out just to compare it we got a chevy chevelle ss from the green light black bandit series so well this is gonna all come across on camera here but very nice version of this car. And this has flat black on the hood, but it's mostly gloss black. Detail motor. Um, details all around is normal for green light. Plastic bumpers. Um, the Johnny Lightning's all one piece. It's all, well, not one piece, but the body's all metal and everything's metal. There's no plastic bumper add on or anything like that, which I actually prefer. But, man, both of these cars actually look really, really cool. So, I like the Black Bandit series. Um, I do like this series. The thing that annoys me, though, about Black Bandits is when they put that Black Bandit logo on there. 
somewhere. I know they put it and it's hard to see and stuff like that, but that is just so lame that they put that logo on there. I just wish they would stick with just making a black car that looks awesome like this one is. And this one does not have the Black Bandit logo anywhere except for just a BB on the license plate. Sorry, we're out of focus. Uh, just that BB on the license plate and that's it. So that's why I like this one. Um, this is great because no logos, nothing on it. It does, what does it say? Black Ops. Black Ops is the license plate, so that's pretty awesome. And uh, so for you Call of Duty fans. So really cool. This thing is, is awesome. I'm glad I opened that up. All right, so there is that. And then we got School of Heavy Metal. School of Heavy Metal 164. Go check out him. His channel, of course. Travis, you're awesome. Um, so anyway, definitely want this in the ultimate color, which is yellow. So this is the Demolition Derby series, which I imagine we will see more of that series. Really awesome freaking casting, man. There's no um, no windshield in it at all. It's heavy, all metal, metal, metal base, metal body. We got dualies in the back. Just an awesome, just an awesome idea for a release. No opening features or anything. Doesn't need it though. Big chunk of metal and really good roller and super psyched to add this to my collection and definitely if i see another one of these i probably will pick one up if i see one in the other other color i definitely will pick up those or probably even two of them this is the release that i was really excited about in the series but then when i saw this one i was just like you know and to be honest with you i left it behind when i first saw it and i went back today and it was still there and i had to grab it and I'm really glad I did, because this is a really good-looking Johnny Lightning. So there is that. There is this. And then, real quick, before we crack the old Johnny Lightning stuff, we got this Firebird from Todd. This thing is pretty awesome. I think the hood open. Yep. Hood opens on this one. Plastic rims and tires, but, man, those look really good. This casting is just a nice casting. Uh, pretty much in mint condition. It got it loose. There's a little a couple scratches in the top here, but I think that probably was there from day one. Just a couple little, like a little paint flaw. It's not really noticeable, but unless you're really, really looking at it. But uh, just great to add to my Firebird collection. And I'm definitely going to be after more of this casting in Johnny Lightning, which there are two hobby exclusives that I got on the way already. So those should be coming, I think, within the next week or, or so of this casting so new releases of those so that is cool and so i'm just going to pause the video so i don't run out of data and we'll crack the the old stuff okay so we got five johnny lightnings to crack here we're going to start with the 2016 two of them from that classic gold series two this is the 1980 chevy monza spider this is from set a uh, we'll go ahead and open it up pull her out in white this car was also available, I believe it was blue. Um, pretty cool looking car. Just kind of a unique casting. I don't know any other die cast company that cast this. Man, wow, this is a really good roller. Most Johnny Lightnings are really good rollers because the wheels spin independent of each other. So that's pretty cool. So that way, so almost all the time you're gonna get good rollers with, with Johnny Lightning. Um, so, anyway, this thing is pretty sweet. Little spider tampo there. I believe the hood opens. And I can't get it to open. So, I'm not going to force it at the moment. I don't have a tool to open it with here. Handy. But I'm pretty sure it opens. And there that is. I do want this in that other color. It looks pretty cool. Um, a rack arachnid that's what the uh license plate says so i think it looks pretty awesome um definitely glad to add it to my johnny lightning collection my johnny lightning collection is growing you know my auto world is definitely my main thing um i guess if i had to pick a second um right now it probably would be johnny lightning and then i do like the new racing champion stuff older racing champions to me is kind of garbage i don't really like the old stuff uh, what Round 2 has done with those toolings, though, uh, they've done a great job with them, and I really do like them. 
Um, so the round two stuff is just my favorite, my favorite diecast stuff for sure. At least stuff that I can get affordably. I do like the Kyosho stuff, uh, Tamika limited vintage and stuff like that is awesome. I just can't afford to have a lot of pieces of that in my collection because they are, um, quite, quite a bit more expensive than these. So for regular, cool, detailed diecast cars, round two's got it right now for sure. Um, green light's great too, but, uh, just not not as interesting, I don't think, as the uh, the round two stuff. So enough about that. Here is this pretty cool car. I dig it. Pretty awesome. And so there's that one. And then let's take a look at this little wagon. This is really neat. The '72 Chevy Vega wagon. Open up this. Kind of another unique uh, vehicle. And a really nice color for this car, too. I think this thing is awesome. Definitely a better looking color, I think, than the, the A release, which is blue. I think I definitely like this one better. Again, the hood should open on this. I'm going to pull it off here for a second. And, again, I'm having a tough time opening it. So, I'm not going to force it at the moment, but... Uh, really neat really neat little little wagon two-door wagon really cool again a great roller rubber tires metal base metal body this is a good quality die cast car i dig it all right so there's those and then let's take a look i got three beetles now to crack um starting with this one here this is from the volkswagen series i would imagine from johnny lightning uh, we got a copyright date of 2002. This is playing Mantis era. Um, it's just a basic enamel red. Plastic tires. Again, you get that little collector card thing. Card thing that they include with a lot of their stuff. And then we'll open it up. So here's an enamel red Beetle. Plastic tires. But metal everywhere else. Good amount of detail. And I really like this Beetle casting. I think it's a, it's a nice... One of the nicer uh, Volkswagen Beetle castings that there are is this Johnny Lightning one. It looks great. Definitely like it better than the M2. M2's not bad, though. And then um, I think I like it better than the Green Light ones as well. So, really neat. And then, of course, Johnny Lightning's not really to scale. I mean, these cars are all possibly kind of small. Uh, but the Beetle should definitely be smaller than both of these vehicles. Uh, but a cool casting, and I really dig it. So there's that one, and then I think this is actually from the same series. Yep, 2002 Volkswagen series. So here is that same car in white. Let me get the card. And again, so same setup. You got metal body, metal base, but you get the plastic wheels. These wheels aren't the best, but... Uh, Still glad to add another one of these little uh, beetles to my collection. So really, really cool little casting. So there's that. And then the last up we got is going to be this one. This is from the... So this is the same tooling. This is from the uh, Classic Plastic series. This one actually has rubber tires, though. And is from the same year. So copyright 2002. Just in a different series and another Beetle. So, let's that one up. Uh, this series is kind of fun because you get this little cardboard box that's totally non functional, by the way. But uh, just a little, little prop inside there. So, yeah, the box doesn't open or anything, it's glued together. It's one piece of cardboard, but it does look kind of neat. And then here is the car. This one's a little bit better than the other two that we showed, just because it's got the rubber tires. Great roller, per usual. And good amount of detail. So, it looks really nice. So, I dig it. So, this video ended up being pretty long. Um, <clears throat> I thought it was going to be a short one, and I added these Johnny Lightnings into here, and yeah, then we took a look at some cool stuff. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. This thing's pretty cool, debating on whether or not I'm going to put it back in its little box or if I'm going to just display it 
where I have my other panel vans. I think I'll put it back in the box just because this thing was expensive. Um, but yeah, I think actually this, the Johnny Lightning Street Freak series, I think is my favorite little acquiring uh, thing of this week besides that ultra red um, Trans Am. But man, this car just looks awesome. If you see one of these at Walmart, uh, pick it up. You won't regret it. If you like cool cars, uh, you will think this looks very cool. All right, so there's that, and that's going to be it for this week. Thank you guys again for watching, as usual. Um, really appreciate it, and uh, we will see you in the next one.